Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. We will make a desktop application that encrypts and decrypts text. We will do the project together step by step. I want to show you briefly how the application works. I will encrypt a text. You need a password to encrypt. Unfortunately, you will not be able to encrypt your text if the password is incorrect. If your password is correct, you can encrypt the text. Again, you need a password to decrypt the cheaper text. If the password is incorrect, you cannot decode the text. If the password is correct, you can decrypt the cheaper text. You can also press the clear button to clear the passwords and text. I shared the source code of the project on the Total Code GitHub account. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Python projects. We will create a desktop application that encrypts and decrypts text. I will create a desktop window using the Tkinter library. I am specifying the window dimensions using the geometry function. I show the window on the screen using the main loop function. I create a blank desktop window. I will set the window of title using the title function. Desktop window title changes. I will add the objects in the desktop window in order. First, I will create a frame. I will place all the created objects in the frame object. I am creating a button to encrypt the text. The parameters sent to the button function represent the physical properties of the object. I can specify where the object created using the create function will be placed in the desktop window. The first object is placed in the desktop window, but it has no function yet. We will shortly define a text function for all buttons. In the same way, I will create a button to decrypt the cheaper text. I adjust the position of the button in the desktop window with the grid function. The second button has been added to the desktop window. I want the text and password to be deleted when the clear button is pressed. I determine the position of the clear button in the desktop window. All buttons have been added to the desktop window. I am creating an object using the label function. The parameters sent to the function represent the physical properties of the object. I am creating this object for design purposes only.
I can place it in the desktop window with the peg function. I will create a text input object just below the label object in a moment. I am creating an object using the text function. I determine the dimensions of the object with the parameter sent to the function. I place it in the desktop window using the peg function. I need one more object for user to enter password. But first let's create a label object. Like the previous label object, I will create it for design purposes only. I am creating an entry for the user to enter a password. But I will prevent the password from being displayed directly on the screen. I can do this by using the show value in the function. I am placing the object in a window using the peg function. The design part of the project has been completed. I can start the encryption processes by adding the text function to the created buttons. I define a text function for the button created for the text encryption. The text function will be called when the button is clicked. I am saving user enter text in a variable. I will delete the text later. We need to set a password to encrypt and decrypt text. If the enter password is turtle, the encryption process will take place. I will use the pipe based library for encryption process. But the library is not in the project file yet. I transfer it using the keywords pip install in the terminal section. Now I can use the library. I am encrypting the translating text to ASCII format. I am converting the encrypted text back to the ASCII format. I can show the encrypted text in the desktop window using the insert command. If the enter password is not correct, I will issue a warning message. But I need to transfer the message box library.
I am issuing a warning message using the show warning function. I enter the text I want to encrypt. I will use wrong password. A warning message is displayed when the encryption button is pressed. successfully encrypted the text entered by the user when the password was entered correctly. I define a button to decrypt the encrypted text. The function will be called every time the decode button is clicked. I am saving the encrypted text in a variable. I will delete the text later. I will do another password check using the if query. I am using the same password. You can use a different password. I am going to the same things I did with the encryption function. I use the decode function instead of anchor. I decode again as ASCII. Finally, I display the decoded text in the desktop window using the insert function. If the password is incorrect, I will show the user a text stating that the password is incorrect. I will encrypt attacks. You need a password to encrypt. If your password is cracked, you can encrypt the text. Again, you need a password to decrypt the cheaper text. If the password is incorrect, you cannot decode the text. If the password is correct, you can decrypt the cheaper text. Finally, I will ensure that the text and password are deleted when the clear button is pressed. I am creating a text function. I can do this using the delete function. Text encryption and decryption works very well. Clicking the clear button clears the text and password. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. Don't forget to follow the YouTube channel for more Python projects.